By February, winter has settled in. Lakes and ponds are frozen solid. The ground is rock hard. But even with winter in firm control, in February we hear the first whispers of spring. The daylight lasts a little longer and the sun feels a bit warmer. And the birds that hang on through the long Adirondack winter become more active. The advantage of staying year-round lies in getting an early start on the activities of spring, sizing up the gene pool and finding a nice nesting site. I kicked into February with a three-day backpacking trip to Lower Sargent Pond near Long Lake. I was using my new backcountry skis and pulling a sled to handle the extra gear needed for a winter trip. 2022 has been a good snow year and these skis have expanded the possibilities for winter travel. Skis are wide and easier to control than traditional cross-country skis and they work exceptionally well on the rough, twisty trails that are common in the Adirondacks. My trip started with two fantastic days poking around lower and middle sergeant ponds. But on day three, I woke to a steady rain and the dawning realization that the rain had turned the fluffy snow to slush. The skis still went okay, but the sled not so much. It plowed up the slush and it felt like I was pulling a couple of concrete blocks along behind me. It took four hours to cover one and a half miles and the effort and the rain left me soaked to the skin. With the temperature falling rapidly, and both my energy and ability to think clearly fading, I left the sled in the woods to get out while the getting was good. By the time I got back to my car, the rain had transitioned to snow, and 16 inches accumulated over the next day and a half. But glorious clear weather followed, and I was able to ski back in and retrieve the sled in my gear.